Hi, I'm James, real estate e-broker, and I specialize in selling Ojai Valley real estate. Today I'm going to talk briefly about investment properties and some of the tax deductions that you, as a landlord, are overlooked. And uh, just kind of a quick review um, to make sure you've got your arms around every penny you can keep from the federal government. <laughs> uh, legitimately, of course. Um, home interest deduction or home mortgage interest or mortgage interest that you pay um, on your mortgage of that investment property or rental property is obviously tax deductible. Uh, the principal portion of your payment is not deductible. So keep that in mind. Just the interest portion of it is deductible. Another area of interest that is deductible uh, is credit card interest. And that's a big one that is people forget a lot of the time. Uh, for example, if you buy a new roof installation on your investment property through Home Depot and you put it on your Home Depot credit card, <coughs> excuse me, um, any interest that you accrue on that purchase of that improvement for that property is tax deductible. Um, secondly, any uh, the home, the structure, the improvement aspect of the property is depreciable over a specific lifetime of the property, which is usually around 27 years. Uh, so make sure you're taking your depreciation deduction. That is a very big tax benefit of owning investment property. Another one is repairs. Obviously, any any repair you do, whether it be from a sprinkler to a faucet, um, broken window, you know, any repair, no matter how small, how large, it is all tax deductible. And local travel is another one that a lot of landlords forget about. You have 55 and a half cents a mile for local travel. So if you choose to drive by your rental property once a week and take a look at it, uh, you should check that mileage and, and record it every week in a logbook and make sure you deduct it. If you drive over to the house to make a repair and then you have to go to the hardware store to get the part and then back to the house to make the repair and then back to your house, that whole trip is deductible at 55 and a half cents a mile. Um, if you have a rental out of state uh, and you need to fly to the property for a reason or another, that's deductible, as is staying in a hotel if it's uninhabitable when you get there, unfortunately. I hope that's not the case. Um, but those kind of things are all uh, legitimate deductions. Uh, home office expense uh, is another one. Um, gee, I have one rental property. You know, I don't deserve to have a home office expense for that. Well, yes, you do. <laughs> um, home office expense is definitely a legitimate deduction. If you use your home office to operate that business, absolutely, absolutely so. Um, employees, if you have any employees, um, that work for you to help maintain that property or whatever the case may be, or you hire someone to, um, you hire a management company to run your rental for you, that's also a le legitimate deduction. Casualty losses uh, is another area, a broken window, uh, any kind of casualty loss is also something you can deduct. And homeowner's insurance, whether it be earthquake, renter's insurance, regular homeowner's insurance, all are tax deductible. And legal fees and professional fees. Um, for example, when you do your taxes and you own an investment property, they're going to prepare a Schedule E for you over and above your regular income tax return. That's an additional cost, and that cost of that Schedule E is also deductible um, against your rental. So those are some quick facts about tax deductions on investment properties. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to give us a call or contact us, better yet, at ovhomesearch.com. Again, that's ovhomesearch.com. Look forward to hearing from you, and have a great week.